All right, let's see. That actually was probably a good time to trade the Bosch Relic. That was a good time to trade Bosch Relic. And I think in all those options. Early Elite is looking scary. But the path is so good. Oof. It's the final countdown. Phantasmal Killer, first card. I mean, I guess if you upgrade it, it's not too bad. Okay, Catacurse. Absolutely. I'll take it. This is a lot of... Fuck. You have two, like, relatively bad cards right now. The Catacurse will... can very easily become a good card. But it doesn't good, I don't like it. Yeah, I agree. Big chance we have lethal coming up. Big chance, big chance. New class is interesting, it is. Okay, take that. Flick for poison. No poison, that's a cow traps. Just RP this. Did we take cow traps or did we save our money for the next shop trying to get poison? And cow traps is pretty good. Right, let's go over here though. Poison. Got it. Alright, so we're good. Perfect. Perfect fight, too. Everything that I have... Uh, my camera turned off, but everything that I have... Camera's back on. Like, cow chops and noxious is perfect for this fight. I just gotta find them. Setup, setup is situ situational, 100% situational. So, like, setup is pretty good in like unceasing top decks, in my opinion. It's the safe 20 enter, uh, 20 block. I mean, 20 um, life. I think that's probably worth it. I could try to save it for the boss. I think these fights already won, though. So, we'll, we'll save 18 life, rather. And we'll be healthier for the next elite. That's more proactive. Taking lots of damage, then I just didn't do enough damage. Could be worse. Setup is not bad if certain times energy like struggling decks, it's not bad. Alright, there's a lot of upgrades we need. Like Flechettes is very good, neutralized very good, catalyst. It's not as good right now just because all I have is Noxious Tomb is in the way of poison. You've got a crazy essential 20 round with four funeral pains, four in flames, and four reapers. Oh my little ant branch. That's disgusting. I thought I had crazy ironclad runs. Let's go for the damage. Ronsky has a leg I like. Let's go this way. Okay, if it's going on, we like the Callus better. I think we probably even like this better for Lagavulin. Like, Callus makes the most sense, but I can't really sleep on the weekend here. It does. Phantasmal Killer is a, a good upgrade right now. Especially with Flechettes, it can combo pretty well, I think. The deck's pretty good at the moment, I see energy. I want the AoE. I'll take it. Uh, let's do that, just for the hell of it. I might get a good flechette here. 
Nope. Even when I had a good potential, I didn't do anything. Hey, thanks for the follow, Matt. Uh, okay, perfect. Let's begin. Could be better, but it is what it is. Okay, let's... Jeez. I wonder if Phantasma is worth it. Probably not. Just let poison do its thing. Wow. I'm two damage off. Master setup's pretty good, guys. The chest is getting worse the more I add, add cards like this. The Catholic Gable also helps me find the powers. Yeah, Fantastic was a curse because I, I got it at uh, floor zero. Yikes. Yikes. Yeah, if you if you understand the combats already, then it's totally fine to take Rick Dome. Oh, so close to killing both. I think we're okay with our block. We, we definitely need to remove a strike. Ooh, and blur is really good. Ah, but pellets is so good. Oh, this is unfortunate because my deck really benefits from removing the strike for flechettes and just to get more consistent block. And blur's not bad either. But pellets is extremely good for wraith form. And all the debuffs I'm gonna get down the line. Do I feel like I'm okay as is to fight this fight? I think so. I think with the Ghost and Jar, we can afford to maybe get pellets now. The Wraith Form is really good with pellets. But removing the Strike is really good. I don't know. I'm conflicted. I just gotta make a decision and run with it. So we could afford the pellets and get to the boss fight. I think as is, might have to use a potion. Is pellets gonna be better for me in the act two or do I rather have less strikes in act two? The pellets just doesn't make a lot of sense. Like it's just basically taking it for something that like, good potential but not actually doing anything right now. So, I think we just play more proactive and do the best thing for the deck right now. This is unfortunate. Force these ghosts, it's fine. I guess we can do Phantasmal and take one damage.
That's six for reflect, wow. Nightbot, you're an asshole, Nightbot. <laughs> Just kidding. Take it back. Um. <laughs> that hurts a lot. I didn't call you, no. Let's save Pendant for Act 2. How's that sound? There's the Wraith form. Damn you pellets. That wasn't that great of an Act 1, but we'll see. Um. And Wraith is the best card here. No longer rests, less cards, remove two cards. Now, I'll be lying if I didn't say removing two strikes would be really sexy right about now. It makes the sets better, it makes me get into my poison and powers in Catalyst sooner, but three energy is not looking good with this deck. So, if I take Coffee Dripper, there's ways to heal around Coffee Dripper. Busted Crown, is that... Do I not take Busted Crown enough? Am I too scared to take Busted Crown? I think I might be. Nah, I agree. I think Pellets was it's it was too ambitious there. I agree. You know, MTK is really good. If you can manage to get alternative energy sources, we just don't have it right now. So for right now, it's just this is the best. You think Buster Cross is a free pick for you, really? How are we doing against elites? Because we have three elites right now. How are we doing against elites? Slavers look rough. Man, our deck's kind of sucky. I absolutely don't feel ready for this. It's a nice card, I agree. On the bright side, these guys kill themselves. So that's a plus. I also lost all my life. Whoa. Okay. Crippling Cloud's very good to get the Catalyst going quicker. A, we poison and weaken. But Footwork's also very good. This is a... Wow. Catalyst number two is too much, but... It's between Footwork and Crippling Cloud. And I think Slaver's Crippling Cloud we like better. Grimmin Leader, we probably like Crippling Cloud better. But in general, Footwork works really well with the Blur and against the boss fight. Crippling Cloud might be the, the, the better pick here. Hmm. Are we doing it? I mean, we're not at max HP right now. But this brings me right back, like... I have copy dripper.
I need to get rid of Phantasmal. So if there's a gift, like, hey, gift a card. That's the one I'm gifting. I had Pendiv. Oh, no, I didn't. I did it. I can let him kill himself so I can save Pendant. Because I'm about to fight an elite, so I think saving Pendant is probably worth it. I could also do Catalyst to speed up the, the fight, but the problem is I don't have enough um, poison on him. So maybe I don't save Pendip. Although, it, if I get Pendip Flechette's first turn of Slavers, I just win. I not I get close to winning the fight. So I gotta think about the Sparkle coming up. If it's the Slavers, saving Pendip makes more sense. So I think we, we try all I can to save it. In my opinion. Second Catalyst? I mean, it works pretty well with the idea that we have Apparitions and we have Wraith Form. So we wanted to scale up our poison. But... We need a little bit more poison. Uh, this is a good amount of poison, and it's also fish sets. Okay, we're probably rich winning this fight. Although I am confident that the catalyst will take care of this fight. I forget about this. Also, thanks for the follow, Triggered. Energy pot now. Is it even worth it? Can you send your for a better turns, no? Thanks for the follow firework of uh, fireworks? I'll try to say that. Five hundred. Using both potions for this fight is a little bit dubious, probably. He's healing, so I gotta prioritize damage. The wound sucks, but it's not gonna make or break me. See, he's killing himself here. We have so many answers for this fight, it's ridiculous. I'll stack up Pendant Pure. I kind of, I use a lot of potions there. Courier's not bad. Cloak and Dagger versus Unload. Well, Cloak and Dagger's pretty good. Hey, well, I'm glad Curiosity Brought you here. <clears throat> Coconut Dagger helps us stack up the pendant. Aside from that, I don't. It also gives me one of a fan. I see a lot of situations where Coconut Dagger just makes a lot of sense. But maybe we just rather have the deck small and doing catalyst poison things quicker, right? It might be a trap to take things like Cloak and Dagger and blow up the deck. While on an average turn, it probably doesn't do as much as... How is this a rare? I don't know. This was made in a time where I guess they thought this card synergy would be more of a thing. Like, if you look at the context of discard synergy, one of the synergies that the Silent has, 
it's pretty strong, but in practice, it doesn't really do much of anything. I assume ah, SCS Taylor, yeah. Cloak attack is pretty good though. I, I, I can see room for this in our deck, but maybe I'm just making the deck too big. RP this. <laughs> well, he said he did that in Ascension 10 or less, right? In Ascension 10 or less, you can get away with a lot of things. Like, if I'm in Ascension 10 or less, oh, you, can, you can win with the base cards, absolutely. Yo, thank you for the tier 1 sub. Appreciate it, man. Welcome. But yeah, you can absolutely get... Basic cards can get through Ascension 10 or less. Damn, we're taking lots of damage. Get more damage this way, but... This prevents more. All right, resting never really makes a lot of sense, right? A second uh, Crippen Cow is not bad. No new cards at all? Uh, I think, I think essentially unless you can probably beat the game with the base cards, I don't know. I mean, he didn't say no new cards at all, right? But Rustic Crown and Sentinel unless makes sense. Because this upgraded basic deck can do a lot of work with relics. If you just have a lot of relics, yeah, for sure. If you're talking Ascension 1 or 0, 100%. Uh, we're scared of the slavers. Uh, no, we'll fight this. White Beast is pretty damn good. Alright, so now I'm going to make a choice. Am I doing this or am I skipping it? We just fought the Book of Stabbing, yeah? So Slavers or Gremlin Leader? I think Gremlin Leader is a little scary. But I have faith in my Catalyst. I think the Slavers are the hardest one, actually. Yeah, I think the Leader's fine. I, I, I don't know about the uh, Slavers. Ascension 16, Ascension 17, 18 are a big learning curve. That's, that's like the hardest part, yeah. Slavers are scary. Here they are. We have Pendant, but... I'll save Pendant for, I'll save Pendant for Flechette's next turn. Or... issue here but I don't want to be weakened I think we go for uh, we have a lot of our non attacks coming in so I'd rather get rid of this well the fight's over so it doesn't matter fight's over Play is over. Nah, so the I got Phantasmal Killer, uh so I my my starting bonus was to get a random rare card and it gave me Phantasmal. I I never picked it. I wouldn't pick it in an act one like that. It's been a curse the whole game.
Burst is pretty good because he can play double apparitions. Yeah, I'm hoping to get the thing that where I can give up a card and I, I can get a full heal or max HP. Because right now it's just chilling there. This might have been a, a run where I wanted to get rid of my, my boss relic, starting relic, but it's okay. I think Burst is probably a better upgrade. Because Bursts can play, f you know, two apparitions each if I'm lucky. Every other, if, if Burst is not playing apparitions twice, then it's not as good. But you can also do things like two apparitions, two catalysts. I think this is the play. I wonder if we just kill these little things now. I could also upgrade my cards here so that Phantasmal is more playable and I don't have to play Apparition now. And I can kill both of these uh, things. Like so. It sucks to really lose this Apparition, but that happens. I don't, I don't want this guy's debuff, but I'd rather play Couch Shops here. Actually, I don't want the debuffs at all, if I'm being honest. I just want to go into Catalyst, happy. Or I guess I could to get Couch Shops. We have Apparition, Rayform, and Catalyst coming up. I don't think we can lose this fight ever. So that's fine. I'll take the debuff. God, I keep... Keep drawing my apparitions. Do we do Ray from here just in case? Because they may have Burst Calus coming up. I... What? That's really good. I can play my um Terror's pretty good, but uh, I think we're going for Hunter Sim Poison. A uh, courier, not oh my okay, 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 okay. Wow. Is this the prismatic Prismatic Shard Act 2 pivot? Master of Strategy is very good. What else do we have? We have Purity, some Potion, no, okay. Master Strategy is not bad. But one of the problems I'm having is I'm drawing too many Apparitions, but I guess if I have Master Strategy, I could do things like Burst, Apparition, Apparition much easier. You'll take it's best for the Sustain. The thing is, Potions are probably gonna give us Sustain sooner rather than later. And aside from that, we're not really taking damage. And if we're ever gonna take a big chunk of damage, we're probably dead anyways. So I think we just hope that White Beast gives us sustain. Because we only have so much max HP. You know? So Mule Ticket is not really combat effective. Like, currently it's not going to help me in any of these fights. I mean, it does because it keeps you healthy if going into the fights, but it's very few and far between, so it's, it's not worth it at all here. You're still pissed that Sarge does not work with Wally Plants not Equilibrium? It does not work with Wally Plants, but it works... Or, or doesn't work with either of those cards. Okay, what does Prismatic give us though? Because we can very well just remove a strike and probably be very happy with this deck. Or Master Strategy, like I said, because it helps us do Burst Apparition twice. Prismatic Strategy is just fun. It, it, it really spices up the runs, alright? So, some fun combos I can think of are Echo Form, of course. Yeah, I, I can do such a zero after after this, uh, pal. I'll do such a zero after. Hey, welcome, Dark Lord of Roses. 
Well, if you didn't see the Prismatic Shard run on YouTube, guys, I just did it on the silent, and I got this as the first relic on Act or Floor 2 of Act 1. And it was an insane run, because we got Equiform, Impervious, all kinds of fun things. Here, I just don't know what... It can give me things like Wally Plants, sure. It can give me some supplemental things, I suppose it's not the worst. Or I could just focus on making the deck as strong as it's... As strong as it can be right now, it's remove strike. Fuck. Alright guys, we have a couple of options. I don't know. I'm really conflicted. Really, really conflicted here. You think Shard is wrong? Keep more scared of Shard in general, but it actually has a lot of merit. The only problem now is the Watcher exists, so now you're gonna get offered a lot of Watcher cards. You're gonna get offered a crap ton of Watcher cards that make no sense. You greedy for wanting fumes? I mean, we already have one noxious fumes. I think the second one's not really necessary because we have two crippling clouds. I, I, I think the second fumes doesn't make sense. We're taking the sheep path. We are pansies. I'm disappointing myself. Not bad. Phantasm Killer did something there. Uh-oh, this hurts. I guess I could have done dexterity there. We're never really resting anyways though. We're never really resting anyways. What's up, Spookity? How you doing, man? <sighs> Our maneuver doesn't make a lot of sense here. I mean, I'm gonna remember Burst is cool and all, but, you know, it's fine. If I had a card draw to go with it, like if I had like a couple acrobatics, maybe some backflips, I could see it. I would plus, but otherwise it's a skip. Uh, we're never resting here, yeah? We're upgrading things like ray form or crippling cloud or the second catalyst. It's probably the best upgrade. Even if a bit overkill. I will do the dexterity bar for this fight, and let's begin. Man, I really should upgrade these apparitions as well though. Because look how much... Well, those are gone, and now the burst thing is all out of the picture. I think once the apparitions are gone, we're kind of dead. Once those apparitions are gone, I feel like we're kind of dead, unless we do Kalos quicker. So, I could do Burst Kalos right now, and then I gotta do another Catalyst. Um, Rayform can buy his time. We seem to do... Uh, we need Wally Plants, because otherwise this burst is not looking good. But we gotta do the poison now, though. And... Unfortunately, we're not gonna get burst for the second Catalyst. But we can still build up a reasonable amount of poison, so... I guess we could do the math. Eight. Actually, the deck is small enough that there's a world where we don't do Catalyst right now. We build it up first, and then we try to redraw into this one. 
and hold on. And let Rayform also help us out. I think that's the approach we have to take. We, we hold on to this catalyst. Although it's actually pretty good. Actually, it's actually not bad. It's 18 poison just to get it started and then... I think it's more... It's better to try to one-shot, but the thing is we don't know... Can't really dictate how we're gonna draw. We don't have retain. But if I get rid of this catalyst now, then I can have a smaller deck. Like I can even get rid of the piercing whale as well. And the next time I draw, it's better draws. So I think this is what I do. And the next time I draw, I'll have less clutter. But now we kind of need the burst. So that's like a hundred. It's not worth to do catalyst now, right? It was 27 because it was nine times three, my bet. I thought I was looking at six. Yeah, he'll move at half HP. So basically what's gonna happen next turn is that it's gonna get down to a hundred and... One ninety five, and then he gets down to like ninety something, and then I have to like do ninety damage by myself, and I think that's not worth it. And Rayform was potential, way. but now he's gonna remove his. So now I gotta draw back into Catalyst now because he's about to get proct, right? So now this is really dangerous because Stone Counter is also proccing. So now he's gonna remove the poison altogether. What's funny is that there's things like bursts. I mean, Stone Condor was already proccing, so if I counter for Stone Condor, I probably would have played differently. But things like Burst Phantasmal means I can do some big flechettes. And then we gotta draw into Ray Form for his big attack coming up. I wonder if Kalos was to play. But this is probably where we die unless we find Ray Form. What can I say? GG. The deck's small enough, so it wasn't the odds weren't too bad. I'll say pendant. Why not? Okay. That burst number two. Yes. Now we can do burst apparitions even more so. So max HP, get golds, obtain a card, uh, upgrade a card. Probably the best. Can the All right, guys, this is kind of sad. I think we got the worst relics. I, I like. Some of the worst relics for this, but it's okay. We'll, we'll make we'll make do of it. So this is never gonna be played. It's not. That's not good enough. Hovering kite for some discard. So it makes survivor free. And that's about it. I have no discard going on. I could try to get the energy and hopefully get something out of that, but I think we can try to find other plans. Get some max HP. Get some gold. So back to plus to me is better than deadly poison because it allows me to help draw into bursts for burst apparitions or like things like burst uh crippling cloud catalyst what have you deadly poison seems bad here i mean at least worse okay so we need corpse explosion i think for this so we're looking for wally plans corpse explosion i think those are the two things we're looking for uh as far as elites are concerned i think we do really good against giant head so i could do that 
The Reptomancer is the hardest fight, and Nemesis I think we do just fine. So, one out of three is a bad fight. Two out of three we are pretty easy, I, I would say, with the Catalyst deck that we have, and, and Intangible. So, with that being said, I'm gonna go for three leads, but this path only has one campfire. This path has two campfires and two elites. And this path has three elites and one campfire yet again. I still think I want to get one more campfire because I have to recall and I would probably like to upgrade Wraith Form or the second burst. So maybe we go for two campfires, two elites. And try to hit a shop along the way. Because this one doesn't have a shop guaranteed. That's the only problem. So the 2 and 2 doesn't have a shop. At least the 3 1 has a shop that I can use Courier on. I guess there's 2 and 2 over here as well. And there's a shop. Actually, maybe that's the best one. Yeah, let's go 2 and 2. So this is pretty cool. That's really nice. So that's how you just win. That's why Burst is so good. So we're probably never taking damage. I also want to... Once we get Kallus, this game's over. Or the fight's over, rather. And I'll probably use Fire Potion because I don't need it for anything else. I don't need another backflip, right? I don't need another backflip. I'll try to bring this one home. Yeah, if I cross motion, then yeah, Rip mentioned that problem. So that's our goal right now. Save pendant. Oopsies. I could have ended the fight sooner. Again, pendant right now. Beautiful. Plant. It's all plant. I think Black Pot is not as good as Draw Pot, because Draw Pot gives us apparitions and burst and catalysts. The apparition is absolutely saved and defined this run, yep. Without it, I'm really screwed. It allowed me to go all in on poison. Speaking of poison, are we taking deadly? I feel like we probably don't need it. It helps get Kalos going quicker, but we also just have Crippling Cloud for that. I'm just worried my deck's getting too bloated. And in the event that I don't get Apparition, I guess we'll keep the, uh... Okay, so Panagraph's pretty good. Wraith Form number 2 is really good. I mean, I don't have the, um... Pellets, but that's fine. Kunai is... A bait. Like, yeah, we have Cloak and Dagger, but this is not a Kunai deck. I want to remove one more strike. It's kind of expensive to remove a strike, but damn, Pentagraph is really good, guys. You think I'll, I'll lose enough HP for Pentagraph to even get value? I don't know if I'm losing enough HP for that. Also, Kunai is interesting because when I'm running out of apparitions, I can fall back on Kunai scaling with Cloak and Dagger Plus. I already have a two Crippling Clouds, that'd be my third one. He heals before the heart, yeah, he heals before the heart and he heals before the, um, 
Oh, there's another one in Act 4, another shop in Act 4. If I take Sekiro, I don't want to use an HP, that's true. Kunai does give me an alternative way to scale and do things that are not 100% reliant on intangible wall. I think Pantograph, in the event that I take some damage, is really nice because I can't rest. This might save me. I'm conflicted. I could buy Kunai and Wraith, that's the beauty of that, right? But what if Kunai's not even worth it? What if I just save my gold, I do Wraith for me, maybe like... Ghost in the Jar, probably not, but... I can just barely afford it, it's prophetic, I know. But Kunai's really did not do anything for us, though. So, in the event that my my intangibles run out, right? My intangibles are never running out, I think, with Burst, Apparitions, and Reform. This might be a bait as well. I mean, we could upgrade it and remove a strike. If we have two upgraded Reforms, we're probably never taking damage. I could also save my money for another shop in Act 4 or up here. I could I could be I could hold on here. I do want to remove this regardless. The shut's better, makes the deck smoother. The second reform, if I upgrade it and upgrade this one, and with all the burst apparitions, I just don't think we ever taking damage. I feel bad about playing Reform naked though, that's the thing. But if I just trust that the burst apparitions are enough, then I guess I never really take damage. I need corpse explosions, what I need. I'm not I'm gonna save the rest of my gold. Even though the potion. Explosion, yep. Or another relic tomorrow, another time. I think I want to do Burst Crippling Cloud as opposed to Burst Apparition, but Burst Apparition is probably better. That's why I need to upgrade that Burst as well. Alright, SCG. Forward's fine, right? I mean, we're not really blocking at all. And it's bad against the Awakened one. I mean, I still think it's worth it to play against the Awakened one anyways, but... This, this is, the deck is going intangible, and it probably wants to be intangible so long that by the time it's not intangible, you're dead from catalysts. So I think it's a bait. Now this is tough because I want to do crippling catalysts here. We can kill this guy. We we'll probably kill him if we get another. Uh... I get my second catalyst.
Kill him just anyways, nice. Got him. Got the achievement. A third burst. So bursts are just actively good on every turn, right? On every turn where I have apparitions or I have other things. All right, third burst versus acrobatics. Can you even burst another burst. So much burst. You... We have no card draw, so acrobatics is pretty good. Because wh what if there's a turn where I need to draw onto something better? I guess I have backflip, but yeah. You guys are never liking acrobatics here. More backflips, yes. I think I absolutely want... Uh, after you run three things, he's thinned out enough to 90 card draw. Really? I don't know. I mean... The problem is making sure I draw into apparitions at the right time. I could draw my apparitions. That's true. But I won't draw unless I need the apparition. I heard you like bursting, so we put some bursts so you can burst while he bursts. I love that meme. Uh, one second, let me see. I want to decide if I want the card draw or not. The deck is 32 cards. It's kind of fat. I like it. Is it a sin to not play the bursts? Alright, so we want to upgrade the waveforms, yeah? The burst plus is also really good. I need a lot of upgrades, actually. I mean, we'll lose two max HP. Well, it's not, this could be worse. Not a bad turn. More bursts. Oh, that's not bad. Calipers is not bad. Randomize the cost of your cards in your hands. This is better than Swift Pot, right? On average. Why am I holding on to this block pot? I, I'm, I'm holding the block pot just in case. All right, I'll do this. Oh, that feels so bad. I really need the upgrades. Don't do this to me. This is why you try to take that key earlier. The upgrades are so huge. Oh. This fight's fine, right? The burns, okay. We should out catalyst them before they kill us. If there's a place where we die, this is where we die. Let me think, let me think. We have a lot of apparitions, we're totally fine. My famous last words? Famous last words, we're totally fine. The callus getting drawn first turn is not that nice. Totally fine. Five at intangible, no problem. Really? Really? 
I mean, it was an easy fight, so I can't complain. Okay, so... Catalyst number three. What is going on? The potion is in traffic, so when it fills up all your potion slots with new potions. I think the deck is running pretty smoothly. It isn't terrible because it exhausts, sure, but you don't want to draw it when, like, you don't want to draw a catalyst in place of apparitions or in a turn where you need the block. I mean, shouldn't two catalyst plus be enough to handle most fights? Because double crippling cloud is doing the AoE, and then the double catalyst is doing enough for the single targets. What we really need is uh, corpse explosion. Expertise is probably not the play, but um, in Traffic Brew, if I use my potions, then it gives me more potions. Sure, why not? Even though the block's probably better. All right, this fight should be easy enough. Catalyst first turn again. So much potions that I'm not even using them. So I don't have burst apparitions, so this is a little bit scary. Three burst and three catalysts, true. So we do not play this, we just try to hold on. I'd rather say pendant for All right, I was gonna say pendant for the uh, the sheds, but it's not important. Okay, this is scary. I mean, we have some block here. Uh, what if the snake oil messes me up though? Whoa, not too bad, actually. Is there a world in which we're bursting both Crippling Clouds as opposed to Apparition? I think Apparition is a better burst. But it's not bad, it's hard to achieve there, unfortunately. Like, Tangible is better, but... This is burst plus, yeah? This is also a lot of poison. I think we just protect our life total here. We should win now. Form of a curse, yeah. Okay. Oh. So, Leaky, thanks for Twitch Prime. Appreciate it. Welcome. Welcome back. Deadly Poison Plus. We're doing fire poison, yeah? We're, we don't need another poison. I think the deck is operating pretty well. Uh, we can go to the shop instead of the campfire. If I go to the campfire, what do I want to upgrade? I can even go for another elite. So it's upgrade versus relic here. I would probably upgrade the second ray form. Or the Crippling Cloud, or the, actually the second burst. The second burst is probably really good too. And Deadly Poison Plus is not bad. It gets the Catalyst going sooner. 
The second shot, yeah, I can remove the second strike. The last strike, yep, it's true. Now, nah, if we remove a strike and just have another burst and draw apparitions, the deck is probably pretty much over. Anyways, so yeah, shot for courier, a lot of gold, or another elite fight, which gives us another rare card potentially. Donor and Deca, we still need to find corpse explosions. True. I mean, Donor and Deca right now we could do a lot of crippling cloud bursted and then try to hopefully catalyst each of them individually. But it is a rough fight because they have a lot of artifacts. So we need to get noxious streams out early. So the shot makes sense for that sense if you want to find Corpse Explosion because it's really good for Act 4 Elite as well. Oh man. I have to recall, so I'm not going to get an upgrade on the, the Ray form. So Blind does get rid of artifacts and it's another source of Weaken, which is pretty good for the heart. But why? Wait. Strange Spoon, which. Wait, wait. And remove the last strike. So Centennial Puzzle is really good. <clears throat> we probably take damage for this to come through. So I've probably just removed the strike. Or I could save the money for the Act 4 shop because I have a lot of gold for an Act 4 shop. Buy Sheep Crouch, hope you get Corpse Explosion. This is cool for artifact removal. I, I am thinking about that. We have Noxious Tombs to get rid of artifacts, and we have Piercing Whales to get rid of artifacts, and we have like Corpse Explosion on upgraded. And plus we have Burst stuff. I think we should be fine. The deck's probably over. Vajra. Oh my god, Strange Food, it's gonna be nuts. Strange Food probably just makes the deck get out of control. Whoa! This guy is doing too much damage. It's kind of big though, but each turn is like pretty actively nice. Uh, I don't think not getting pentagrams in the ass just yet. Cloak is now back with the ships. Safe pendant. Second acrobatics. Piercing Wolf Plus, yes. Um, I don't need the second acrobatics. I don't regret Cloak and Dagger. I, li I liked it a lot for the pen of stacking and like one of the fan here and there and just to help dictate certain damage. But with the spoon, it feels worse, yeah. So we're 11 HP short. All right, guys. So the biggest thing right now is artifact removal. We also have... We have Pendip right now. It's, that's the least of my concerns. Color disposition, I'm not sure about. Lack of from just yet. I'm gonna find fumes ASAP. I think I can just use this because I can get it back to Strange Food 50% of the time. Alright. I didn't get any I didn't get any of this up back. 
I got the backside, which I wanted at least. That happens sometimes. If I don't find Apparition next turn, it could be very bad. So we'll get rid of both artifacts here. Even though it's a good source of my poison. I might get it back with Strange Spoon though. Very nice. And maybe I just do Piercing Well now. And I'll block Puck. Alright. Need fumes. Do need fumes. I don't want to get the shifts back, that's the only thing. Thank God. Alright. So my goal is to get a single target Kalos both for them, so I need to get them poisoned up big time. Some shots. It probably wasn't worth it. It's probably just better to do blur and crypt cut twice. But that's fine. I thought 28 damage was a little bit better at the time. Hope I get this one back. Mm. Maybe Wraith from because now we're looking now it's the tail end of the fight where we're trying to get Catalyst played, right? So maybe we just do this to buy time. Because we're gonna have this for damage and then we're looking for Catalyst to end it. So I think we play this. Because we're never really hoping to rely on our blocks ever. We just can't do that. I'm not doing enough damage though. I'm really not doing enough damage. Should I look for Burst to do Burst Apparition? Is that the better play? Or do we just play Apparition, Wraith, Attack, Attack? Because we... Phantasmal Killer is doing some work here, actually. And it's probably just better to just do Apparition, Wraith instead of looking for Burst. Because Burst Callus is really strong. We got that back. That's not bad. But... So we'd rather ca catalyst this person. The dogs are playing with the things, okay. I can save Pendant for the next uh, fight, yeah? GG. Alright, so who are we scared of? Time eater or not at all? I would reckon I'm not scared of this guy at all. And before I lose, but... Tangible when he does a big attack, that's like the you know the biggest worry. I kinda want acrobatics here.
Catalyst now. Absolutely, yeah. Absolutely. I wonder if I do Rayform right now, because at this point, like, okay, Caltrip Stuff does more damage. But Rayform just, because we're going for the tail end of the fight, we're looking for Burst Catalyst for the win. Is Burst Catalyst enough right now? Let me check. Thirty-one. Well, we didn't draw into bursts. Mm. That's sad. This might come in handy. Burst. That's my only catalyst left, though. But we're about to do two damage so we might have lethal actually so that's 99 plus the damage I'm doing now and then 52 so 99 times 2 is gonna be like 180 190 plus 52 looking like 240 something 250 something I think we're gonna get lethal I think it's lethal pretty sure there's an unlucky chance we don't get lethal, and that would suck. We'll probably lose, but... Yeah, but... So, I do damage now, and then next turn, before he heals, I get to do another damage with the Stone Counter. I forgot that I couldn't play both of them, but we're not gonna need both of them. Stone Counter should be enough here, because we also have Reflect damage. Absolutely. That's a high score. Holy shit. Going into Act 4, that's a really high score. Alright, I need some water before we can finish this one out strong. Alright, as far as upgrades are concerned, I think I'm really conflicted because I think Crippling Cow is really good for Act 4 Elite. Thanks for the follow, Samius. I also uh, think Rayform is really good. And so is Burst. Like, Burst Plus is doing so much work. Thanks for the follow, Manjokas. Let me get some water. <clears throat> Another couch up just to get extra damage on the heart? Probably not. What is this? Play the top three cards? Absolutely not. Maybe plated armor is just the best. And nothing else I can buy. I think the second contract for the heart, but my I think my goal thing is my whole thing is gonna be once I do have catalyst on the heart, I just gotta survive for like four to five turns and then he's already dead. So, I don't really need anything but a potion here. But this fight is the rough one because I have artifacts and there's two of them. And they do a lot of damage. And I don't have artifacts, right? I don't have that. Intangible. I need to find intangible. I mean, I have Crippling Cloud Piercing Whale. So that's getting rid of some of the attack. And we could use the plated armor. So we could try to draw or we could... Piercing Will Crippling... Hmm. Let me see. I could draw into uh, Intangible or just do Crippling Piercing and maybe Caltrops. Maybe that's better. Mm. 
Give me one second. Okay. Um, I think we play more proactive, guys, and we just do crippling piercing and don't try to draw into our apparitions. In my opinion. Like, I guess we could do... Backflip and try to find... Intangible now, but this is just a pretty proactive turn. So, when I turn my back, he's still doing some kind of damage, yeah? If I turn my back... How much damage is he doing? Probably a pitiful amount though. I'm not 100% sure. But I think it's a pitiful amount. Absolutely. I want to use this just... Okay, what's the potion I don't really care about? Like, plate armor probably helps you more in the hard fight. But... I don't really care about this potion. I guess I can just use it here. I don't really care about it. I don't really care about it. Okay, that's not a pitiful amount, but you know, now, now it is. And we got it back. That's probably... That's the beginning of the end of this fight. I just need to get the poison now. Oh, shit. That's the beginning of the end. It is important that this. Mm. Well, I had, I had nothing else to spend money on, so I grabbed the potion. Just thought I might need it, but nothing else to spend money on. Got that back. Very nice. I don't really care about doing the shapes here, although it stacks a pendant. And the pendant could be pretty good. Doesn't really matter. I need some burst stuff going on. Burst crippling cloud would be huge. Not really. It's not really the play. But I'll take it. Because you know what that means. The chest is going to be pretty good right now. Which is kind of funny because the chest has been doing work. Or this. I think we most definitely do burst crippling as opposed to burst apparition. Although we are running out of intangible. So, buying an extra turn of life or doing seven more poison. We're about to have Stone Calendar. So, this guy's gonna die, Stone Calendar. And this guy's nearly gonna die as well. Spooning that version. Could have made a fatal error, but I think we're fine because Stone Counter is going to take care. Oh, of course he has the armor. That's right. That's right. All right. All right. Look at the damage. I didn't mean to actually block. I took damage now. Fuck. No, I got plated armor. Never mind. I guess we can try to stack Pendip here. And that's all she wrote. Sundial. Okay, that's not bad. Doppelganger. Let's finish this one strong. Uh, doppelganger. Probably not necessary, but it could also help me draw through my deck and maybe potentially get burst apparitions, right? 
If I get a good double ganger, I'm doing burst apparitions more often, or maybe doing bursts, catalyst easier, etc., etc. I feel like it's probably okay to play. Does burst wonders up double ganger? It depends. Yeah, it could be fine. It might not exhaust. It's true. It might stay in my deck. The deck's totally fine. Let's go. I'm conflicted because I want a crippling apparition cow traps. I want to play that. I could discard apparition here because apparition right now is only preventing me from beating of death, right? So I could discard apparition with acrobatics, but then I might draw to another apparition. And it's like, eh. Lekum Luce. Oh, did I miss the Twitch Prime? Yo, thank you so much, man. Welcome. Thank you for the Twitch Prime. Thank you for the sub. I, I went to get water or something. Yeah, yeah, but what I'm trying to say is I want to get rid of that person to maybe drop back into it another time. There's also a world in which, like, if you play it, you get it back. It's true. I really want to get this, this crippling in cow shops. Those are my two main important things. Do you really... Should I let this go to waste? Because if I don't play it, it exhausts and I don't get a chance. If I play it, I have a chance to get it back. He he purges negative strength. So he purges negative strength. But it's a waste of energy and I'm probably drawing to something else anyways, so... I want to do this. Yes, but it only cards which exhaust when played. So it, that's important because otherwise you would get days back, you would get voids back. So only when you play it, and exhaust when you play it. So yeah, that, that's the important distinction there. Uh, I think blind's the best thing to have here. Artifacts in the future as well. It doesn't really help. I want something that can do block, so I could block for free. Like, if I can get dash, that'd be pretty good, because I want to just block for free and then play... I, mean, I think I'm overthinking this. Let me just let me just stop. One second. I think I'm overthinking this. I want to save the Apparition. Creepy Cloud's already weakening, so Blind's not that important, but later on it might be important for artifacts or whatever. I might just clog my deck, honestly. So I think discarding is not the play. Defend is just better to prevent more damage, but I guess the attack pot now could give me something that blocks. All right, we we'll skip. Low discards this, but yeah, no, I know I low I discards it, but then I'm discarding everything. I mean, I, I don't really. We're gonna lose apparition. That feels so bad. It's not the worst thing in the world, I guess. This deck goes intangible and applies poison. Contrap is so much damage, but we're not gonna be worried about damage, right? Now that I think about it, we're not worried about damage because Kalis is gonna do enough damage. But I don't wanna drop back into this. Rayform is safer, but Noxious Summons is important to get the scaling out. 
Like... Rayform was 100% safer. If I don't trust that I'm gonna draw into apparitions... And I suppose I don't really need Noxious Fumes now, because I have... Well, it's not like guaranteed 15 hit because I don't, I don't guarantee you have apparitions. I do have piercing wills though. Like, I have three piercing wills. I should be fine. But there's a, there's a world in which I'm not fine, so I, I, I played that out, I think. And maybe that's wrong. Oh, I have... If I didn't play Reform, this wouldn't guarantee to be like that. That's, that's the thing. If I didn't have Reform. I uh, might as well just prevent some damage though, right? But well, I didn't really pre eh, it prevents damage. We want to get the poison ASAP. So the second ray form, I think we just hope that we hit Burst Apparition coming up right now. I think we also get rid of the artifacts here. And now we need Apparition really bad. Oh, yes. The thing about Burst Apparition is that... It's not 100% necessary. It helps to play my cards next turn, I guess. Extra damage here, is that worth it? I don't think it gives you a second spoon proc. Like, it doesn't create a new card for go back in your deck. I'm picking up poison for all the damage. This can help me, this can help push me over the edge though. Like that 21 could help go on my side. Probably doesn't matter the grand scheme of things. Uh, you know, this these hits do hurt. The multi-hit still hurts. Luckily I have piercing wells in the deck. Alright, we got Kalos in back. We need that person again or we probably just lose. So we got it again, but there's still multi-hits that are killing me, so we want to look for piercing well, yeah? Well, actually, unfortunately, I might be... I think I died with this, a deck like this before. I'm pretty sure I died with a deck like this before. Alright, we win. We absolutely win. The only problem is that the first time I play this, I lose 3 life. So then the second one that I play... I'm down to 9 HP. So then when I use... When I enter at uh, our Calcum, I'm at... Exactly 15. Right? But there's no block, because I have Rayform early. So, we really want Piercing Whale. But there's nothing, there's nothing. So we do this, right? Oh, it, okay, never mind. It worked differently than I thought. I thought it would give me three damage first. Okay, then we're fine. We're fine. My party wants to do acrobatics, but no reason to. I think we win now. Because that's the only, I think it's the last multi hit we're going to have to deal with. Okay. 
After I play this Rayform, I can't play any more cards. I'm at 1 HP. So, whatever I play now has to be enough to win. So, is this poison enough? It needs three turn. I need three turn lethal. Alright, so I do Crippling Cloud. No, I don't die, because I, I don't take one damage. I can only play one card. I still have Callus in the deck. No, but I. So, he, wait, let me do the math. Let me do the math. He takes 45 here. So then, next turn is a free turn. He takes. I don't think I have the math. No, I have Rayform, so I have negative dexterity. Well, I can't get can I get Callus next turn. Callus is over here. Does Rayform win though? No, I still died in multi hit though. But he takes six damage reflect. I just gotta hope that I don't get multi-hit. That's it. I just, he can't multi-hit first. He still kills himself, right? Wait, wait, wait. I can, six, I can survive six attacks. And that's 36 damage. We're still fine. God, that was intense. Oh, okay, that, that's it for the day, boys. That's it. I think I'm done with that one. 3,302. That's a good score. So just a recap, quick recap. I can't see the deck, but basically we just poison, intangible, and pray. Those three things in that order.